Oh, hey, Mark. Glad you're here today. Hey, yeah. I'm going to do a little demonstration with you. I um, wonder what you're doing. A lot of people under, uh, maybe do or don't understand different strength strengths happen in shapes. Um, okay. Back to basic ge met, uh, geometry in school. What I have here is a piece of uh, 16 gauge stainless and it's relatively springy. You want to verify some springiness? Yeah, yeah, I'd say. Yeah, so you can very easily bend this with your hands right, right now. Right, right. Now that works well until you put some put some shapes to it. If you, you add some lines into something like this, and sometimes it doesn't take much of a line. Okay. You know, you add a line that way. Right? farther than that if we want but uh let's we'll stop at that but that's basically after you add these shapes to it kind okay, of give it a try to bend it now oh yeah yeah so <laughs> the strength just increased you know two three hundred times from what it was so you know you can a lot of times working on some thin gauge metal is okay you can end up making some really strong structures out of it by changing the shape okay um so yeah just a little something to share out there but uh yeah. We will uh, we'll definitely be using that uh, that idea and principle in parts of your project. Excellent. Well, thanks for sharing that with me. It makes a lot of sense. I guess that explains too why you see so many of the corrugated like metal roofs have right. you know, really really thin metal, but because of those creases, actually give it the strength and support. Exactly. Yeah, a lot of them them roofs I think are twenty and maybe even twenty four gauge. They're paper thin metal, but um, yeah, and paper is a great example. You know, if you fold a couple piece of paper in some directions it starts to become more rigid and metals very much like that well, cool well i really appreciate you explaining that and showing me you know how that works because it's i think it's important to know sure thing buddy you can go ahead and keep it as a souvenir token oh awesome will you sell really, it for me yeah super shiny piece of stainless steel and um you know it's top quality stainless steel you can tell by the rust that's transformed <laughs> through the surface so it's good stuff